now before we go on to discuss the types of vectors and start the algebra of the vectors we'd like to define something that is very fundamental to vector algebra and which is the source of a lot of confusion at times so ox oy and this is my z axis okay so these are the three axes maybe for you to not get confused i'll i'll remove this okay i'll remove their negative ends but but you should always understand that it it subtends below this axis goes there negative z axis negative y axis and negative x axis Right. So, sir, we are talking in terms of 3D plane. Octant. Yeah, this is a 3D plane. So, this is x, this is y, this is z. Okay. X, y, z cannot be randomly named. Okay. It is not that I can also name it x, y, z. No, it will be wrong. Because we are dealing with right handed coordinate systems. Right handed coordinate systems coordinate systems in which in which you'll soon understand if you if you hinge this point hinge this point and try to rotate x to y okay if you take if you hinge this point and i take x to y it is an anti clockwise movement right it's an anti clockwise movement now if if these are this bottle this has a right handed screw okay normally the threadings that will come across are right handed screws okay so this is a right handed screw what does it do if i move it in counter clockwise direction the linear movement of the cap is up it will open right if i do it like that if i if i looking from from up i do a clockwise movement then it will go down the linear movement is down okay this will happen even if you have a screw and you want to maybe maybe this this no there's not put a screw here so so if you if you take a screwdriver and put a screw here and you start rotating it clockwise it will start entering the wall okay <coughs> hmm? yeah maybe this, this 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 has been done like that or or sometimes they hammer it i'm not talking about hammering but if you rotate it like this then it starts going in maybe if you have got an electro electronic equipment say say a sound system or something then you have got those positive screws on that okay if you put your screwdriver and start clockwise anti clockwise then it opens clockwise it goes in okay so so if this x goes on to y then it is anti clockwise and a right handed screw will linearly move in what direction out so that should move in the direction of z you understand that so so you will you'll be perfectly okay even if you write this as x this as y and this as z so the green ones are also okay or why because x goes on to y looking from up this is x this is x this is x this is y okay so x goes on y then it should come in this direction so so this as x this as y and this as z is also okay you understand this is also okay and similarly x y x y z or x y z or or with the red if i mark it x y z that is also okay so same colored coordinate systems are fine okay normally since we are accustomed with taking our x axis is this and y is this in a 2d in a plane so what we do we we leave that we take the blue ones you understand but all of these three are perfectly okay hmm okay and the other three the other three directions they are called a left handed coordinate system 
but we do not deal with a left handed coordinate system fine now in this coordinate system if i have a point here okay in a 3d plane a point here and you decide to you decide to join this like this okay so i have a vector whose tail is at the origin and whose head is at the point point which it points to okay the vector whose tail is at the origin and whose head is at a given point which you want to indicate is called a position vector it is called a this is called a position vector and is denoted by r normally if you find r it means we are dealing in terms of a position vector so position vector is what position vector is nothing but position vector is a vector with its tail at the origin and head at the point it intends to indicate okay that we'll see we'll see the what is the magnitude if it points to this then we'll see what the magnitude of the vector is okay so for that now drawing we, i am trying to draw a a a 3d figure onto a 2d plane so just try imagining it like this so this is a box okay and you understand so so it is something like this what i have done this is a vector this is a vector which is pointing from this end here into this so i'll put a pen instead of that so this is my position vector this red pen you see all of you is a position vector fine and this point is x y z the coordinates are x y and z now how are they defined now you 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 see these two this is y and this is x facing my side this is this edge the lower edge is the x axis this is the y axis and the one that is going towards you is the z axis this edge okay you understand now if this is x x y z the coordinate is x y z it means what if i if i put a plane here a plane here 
that is parallel to this plane that is yz plane this is my yz plane this is y axis this is z axis so this plane is called yz plane the plane that contains the y and the z axis is called yz plane so parallel to the yz plane i have put a plane here okay this is x and y so this is an xy plane okay so parallel to the xy plane i have put a plane here so so this side is actually xy plane parallel to xy plane right this is parallel to yz plane and then i put a plane here which is parallel to the xz plane okay because this is x axis this z axis so the bottom of this is actually xz plane parallel to that is this you understand so what have i done i have packed this vector inside a cuboidal box do you see that all of us now you will very well understand wherever this plane cuts the x axis is your x coordinate this is your x coordinate so this is the length of the x so so if i say x y z if i say x y z that means this whole length is x do we understand do we understand it there this this that is facing towards you is x this that means this is x correct <coughs> now try to understand if this is x then parallel to this this is also x is it not and here it has been cut on y so this is y so this is also y okay so x y and the one that is coming towards this so so this is z right you see you see this is x axis so this is x this is this is uh, this is y this is y this this vertical length and this that is coming towards you thank you the one that is coming towards you is z you understand so now my problem boils down to what it boils down to finding the diagonal of a cuboid whose sides are x y and z is it not it is a cuboid i have to find the the longest diagonal okay the across diagonal fine this is the across diagonal now now that makes a bit bit of difficult in comprehending here why because this is a 2d that is actually trying to represent a 3d fine now just try to think if this is this is see see this is x or 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 you say from here okay this is x correct because this was x axis this is x only this length okay forget about the length that is jutting out that, that that is coming out of it so just forget that so this is x and this vertical is y you get it so this is x and this vertical length of blue pen is y so i can obviously find out this diagonal this will be what square of this diagonal will be what x square plus y square is not this is actually in my on my side i have just turned it for you to see so so it, it is like that okay so it is x square plus y square hmm. square of this okay so i know this diagonal now you see do these three pens form a a right angle triangle yes this you see you see this blue pen that green pen this blue pen the head of that the cap of that blue pen forms 90 degree with this green pen do you see that actually that is difficult to see here because it will seem as if it is making some angle with it so 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 this the red pen is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle can you see that hmm so square of the blue pen which is x square plus y square plus the length of the green pen which is z square that will give me the hypotenuse the red pen length square and red pen length is what i am interested in do we get it so what happens so this is o and i had found out what now i'll show you and why why it becomes a bit difficult to comprehend i am actually i had found out this 
the blue pen that I was keeping in the back, that was actually this, it was like this. So, so, so this was actually the square of this was x square plus y square. So, so I have O, O, A, B, C, hmm? maybe D, E, and F. Okay, and G. And Ah, fine, eight eight vertices, right? So my O G square is actually equal to is actually equal to this plus this. See x square plus y square, is it not? Now if I tell you that O G is perpendicular to to G E, that is something that you'll find absolutely weird. This is my O G, and and this is my G E. This is my OG, okay, and this is my GE. You see that? This is my GE. They are actually 90 degree, but but if I tell that here, you will find it absolutely weird. How is it possible? But if you realize that this is this is in line, this is aligned with the plane OBGA, O, and this is this looks like this, but this is actually perpendicular, like this. Since in a 2D, I cannot show 3D. That's why I have I have done that. I, I have shown it obliquely, but but otherwise this is perpendicular. Then you'll find that yes, yes, it is perpendicular. But if I tell you that it is perpendicular, it is absolutely incomprehensible that it is perpendicular. Okay. So OG square plus GE square. Now OG square plus GE square is equal to OE square. Is it not? Now this is x square plus y square, and GE is what z. This, this this whole thing is z, so plus z square is o e square, so o e is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. We understand? Okay. So, if the coordinates of the head, okay, the coordinate to which our head points, if that is known to me, then I immediately find out the length of the vector. It is, you square them, all the x, y, z coordinates, add them and take the root of that, correct? Take the root of that, fine? Understood by everyone? Okay. 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 Fine. 